Selling high ticket is not hard. I know, I know. If you would have told me this four years ago, I would have looked at you like this alien from outer space. But here's the thing. Being pushy or salesy is actually extremely counterproductive. I mean, you're watching this video because you feel it in your gut. It will cost you more sales. But with the right tools and using my M100 sales system, it will become effortless. And I'm going to use this magnet to show you how easy it actually is. And, and I'm going to give you an exercise that you can use with your friends and family that will turn you into a sales master. The steps in the system are specifically designed to eliminate the Oh, it's too expensive objection. It will allow you to never be pushy in your sales calls. And in the last step, you will get my 100% objection destroyer. I hope you're excited because I am. On the flip side, not using these insights will mean continuing to get silly sales objections. Like I need to think about it. But worse than that, having months, years go by without your business reaching its full potential. If we're meeting for the first time, my name is Bogdan, the Warrior Shaman. I've helped my clients generate more than $10 million and I've shown complete beginners how to sell high ticket services. It, it was crazy. Like after one week, you got your first uh, sale, right? How did that feel? How did you celebrate? Frankly, I cried. <laughs> I bet. Yeah. Yeah, it was very emotional for, for myself and for my fiance. Fun fact, what I love most in the world is coffee and my wolf, Thor. Don't tell my wife. Before we dive in, let me just acknowledge one of our warrior shamans, Trisha Thompson, and thank her for her comment because it's the comment that inspired this video. Thanks, Risha. I remember like it was yesterday, the first time I ever tried selling a high ticket service. I think my coaching was like $1,000 for three months. I was on the phone on Messenger with this guy that I met on Facebook and I was like, okay, great, are you ready? Great, send me the money, send me the money right now and let's get started. Dude, I'm so excited to work, yes, yes. And the guy was like, yeah, sure, I'll send you the money, I'll send you the money right now, yes, yes. Get off the phone, he blocks me everywhere and obviously he doesn't send me any money. I felt destroyed. And that was because the way that I learned sales back then was extremely pushy. I realized that there's a better way actually being yourself in the sales calls using pull versus push force is so much more profitable. Now, here's the thing. Sales is a confidence game. It's about taking someone from, let's say, 30% confidence that they want to work with you, that they want to pay you and that they're going to get results the results that they want through your service to 100% confidence. But in order to get there, you need to eliminate a few blocks or rather amplify pain. Okay, now this might seem unethical, but when you do this properly, people will see will feel seen and understood. So here's an example. What I love to do in my calls is ask people, let's just say for my coaching, right? What do you want? Well, I want more clients. I'm well, stressed out. I'm overwhelmed. My business is not performing at the level that it can. So what I really love to ask is this. So if all of this was handled, if you were getting clients effortlessly, if uh, you weren't overwhelmed, if you had time to do more of what you loved in the business, what would that mean to you financially? And they would say, well, let's just assume that this person is making around 5k a month, right? And they would say, well, I would be making 15, 20k a month and life would be so much more fun, so much more valuable. And I say, beautiful. So if I understand this correctly, you're basically leaving um, an extra 10, 15 K a month by not addressing these issues. And they're like, yeah, you're right. So what does that mean in terms of a year, right? So you're leaving on the table, 600,000 minimum 600,000 or what is it? No, sorry. My math is off. Um, 10 by 12, you're leaving on the table at least $120,000. And they're like, oh my God, you're right. So what am I doing? I, my goal is to make the pain 
so much more expensive than whatever I'm charging for my service, right? So let's say your service is 5K or 10K or even 20K compared to that $120,000 that you're missing out on, it's nothing, right? So you try to quantify or associate a value to then not addressing this problem. Let's say you're doing, you're dealing with relationship, right? You're selling relationship coaching. You can ask them, what does not having a relationship, or let's just assume that you never find the relationship. How will that, or the right partner, how will that affect you in time? And they're like, well, you know, I'm going to feel sad. I'm going to feel bad about it. Okay. How do you feel that that will affect your work? Well, I'm probably going to be demotivated at my work. I'm not going to feel good. Okay. And if you continue being demotivated at your work, what will that cost you? What will that mean? Well, maybe I'm going to lose my job. Okay. Interesting. So if you lose your job, how much are you making roughly, right? Well, I'm making about a hundred thousand dollars a year or sixty thousand dollars a year. I see. So basically the price of you not solving this challenge is six hundred sixty thousand dollars a year, let's say, or like a few months of not, um, you know, getting, uh, not being employed, which will be X amount. So what you're doing is you're trying to associate that financial value and make it higher than whatever the price of your service is. This is making sense. Now, let's talk about magnetic selling. This is what most sales calls look like. This is you and this is a prospect. And you're here like, want to buy my service? No, I need to think about it. I have to talk to my partner. I can't afford it. Now watch what happens when you flip it on its head. Want to buy my service? Yes. Here's an example of flipping it on its head. Instead of saying, hey, you know, my program does this and it's amazing because it does that. Give a minus of the program. Tell them something that they don't necessarily want to hear. For example, I love to tell my prospects, hey, not everyone gets results in my program. People will either get amazing results or they get no results. Do you want to know what's the difference between the two? And they're like, yeah, of course. Well, the people that get amazing results follow two simple rules. Number one, they do their best to do what they said that they were going to do. And number two, when they cannot do their best, they ask for help. These are the only two rules that my clients who got exceptional results followed. And then I asked them, do you feel like you can um, um, follow these rules? And they're like, yes, of course. Okay, tell me more. Give me a few examples of like previous programs. Like, so basically what I'm doing is kind of, I'm interviewing them for the job position of being my client. I'm inviting them to convince me why I should accept them as being my client. So that relieves a lot of the pressure of me trying to convince them of something. And all of a sudden they're the ones selling themselves to me. Now in our next step, I'm going to give you my objection destroyer plus a fun exercise that you can do with your family and friends that will massively improve your sales skills. But let's get real for a second. I know that you've invested in multiple different coaching programs, courses, and you weren't very happy with the results that you got, but you haven't tried everything. If you want to make more money without the stress, if you want to get off the income roller coaster where you're doing well one month and then the next month is like, oh, where do I get more clients? If you want to try something completely new that you've never tried before, if you want a coach that can see you, the real you, and pull that version out so you have more fun in your business. If you want someone who can deeply understand you from a business perspective and an emotional perspective, so you can experience a transformation similar to this. I nearly doubled my prices. I'm constantly onboarding new clients with less effort. I was able to get out of this hustle mentality and I was able to adapt more of a mentality that, that clients will come to me effortlessly. And the funny thing is they do. I'm now working with much better clients. They fit to me personally better for the reason why I decided to start working with Bob Dennis because he really, one or two calls, he was really able to understand my situation from a business perspective, 
and also from an emotional perspective, which, which was something that was really important to me. I know you're thinking that you need to master the information you already have, but let me share with you a quick story. I was talking to this mindset coach who was thinking about becoming my client and then uh, he decided not to because he said, well, I invested so much into business coaching programs and now I just need to learn the information that I have and use it. And another reason was that uh, he only had his savings left. He was living off of his savings. I talked to him a year later, he was in the exact same situation in his business, but his savings were gone. And he was now looking for a nine to five. Most of the people that I work with have invested heavily in other programs and did not get the results that they wanted. And I've been through a lot of coaches and stuff and I've, I feel like I've made more progress in the last three sessions with you and have in, in other programs that I've done. So <laughs> yeah, I get that. This is different. And if you're curious to learn why it's different, check out the video explainer in the description. You'll also learn more about how the program has helped my clients, the clients that follow the two rules. If you're not going to follow the two rules, don't check it. Don't, don't click on anything. Now, our third step or objection destroyer, you need to get people to 100% confidence that this will be the absolute best solution for them right now. How do you do that? You simply ask them, hey, what would need to happen for you to be 100% confident that my program will allow you to achieve result X. And they will tell you, well, if this happens or this other thing doesn't happen, if I can make sure that I get accountability or if I can make sure that the steps are easy to implement or if I can make sure that I will not need to spend too much time because my time is constricted, they will give you the exact specific objection that you can handle in that moment. Because here's the thing, they don't know what their objection is. Right. So without asking this question, what would need to happen to be 100% confident that this will work for you? You cannot find, you're just shooting in the dark and hoping you hit. Instead, when you ask this question, you really give them the space, the time and space, and they feel really heard and understood to share with you exactly what is the thing that they're worried about that will happen. And then you can show them, you can demonstrate or like walk them through your process or Show them a testimonial of somebody who had the exact same objection. Hmm? So you're building up to that 100% confidence. And then you ask them again, are you 100% confident now that this will work for you? And they're like, well, I'm not there yet. Okay, great. Is there anything else that would need to happen for you to be 100% confident? And then you get even deeper, right? So this is an easy way for you to identify and eliminate the real true reasons and help them understand what they're afraid of. Because oftentimes if you got testimonials and your system is proven to work, your service is proven to work for other people, it's never a thing of them not being confident in you because there's proof. The, the confidence that they're looking for is in themselves. You're basically in a process of creating confidence within themselves. Their real true objection that has many different forms is, I'm not sure if this will work for me personally. So by you asking this question, it will allow you to, it will allow them to bring out the me personally. What is my me personal situation that I think is unique and that I'm not sure that this will fit. And then you show how your solution, your service will fit perfectly to their specific situation. And then when they said, yes, I'm 100% confident, then you can talk about pricing. Do not talk about pricing before going through this step first. Do not. If you, do, if you don't get them to 100% confidence, you will have a ton of price objections. I don't know, rah, 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 rah. not even, you, you'll handle more objections than you need to. Get them to 100% confidence first and then it's just a matter of logistics of which price point is, should you do installments, do they prefer the paid in full, what is the best option for them? Hmm? Now here's your exercise that you can do with your friends and family. For example, in your family, ask your kids or your partner what would need to happen for them to feel excited about washing the dishes or mowing the lawn, whatever you know you feel like they could handle, something that you could want to delegate to them. Ask them, 
what would need to be, what would need to happen for you to be super excited about mowing the lawn? And they're like, well, you know, if this happened, or if you could do this thing, or da, da, da. so all of a sudden you understand their needs. And if you can provide those specific needs, and sometimes they might say, hey, you know what, actually, now that we're talking about it, it's not that bad, I could do the dishes, it's totally fine, right? So what you're doing is kind of pulling that objection to the surface that they don't even know why they don't wanna do the dishes or the lawn, and you handle it, and then all of a sudden, you have one of your tasks delegated. Try it and let me know what happened in the comments. Now you know how easy it is to turn someone from a reluctant prospect to a happy client. But how do you actually get them on a sales call with you? I mean, marketing can be a bit of a headache these days. It can feel like nobody cares about you or your service or that it's very difficult to stand out in a crowded market. That's why I made this video sharing the easiest and most effective marketing system that you can start using today.